Hello everyone, extremely sorry. Uh, today it's late OP in capital letters. I've gone for a marriage and uh, got stuck up in traffic. Just came back home and immediately started the live stream. Extremely sorry. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a bit late. Sorry for that. But, uh, you know, I was initially planning to cancel the live stream. But then, you know, now Thursdays live stream have become such a big ritual that... Uh, it becomes very difficult for me also to uh, skip a Thursday live stream unless and until I'm out of town and range is not uh, there. Then and only then would I cancel a live stream, right? I came running. I didn't have a. I didn't have an ice cream before the stream. No, no, I did not. Okay, no audio. Are you serious? Oh my gods. Hello, Rachana ma'am is okay. Puja ji is also okay. Akshay uncle. Akshay bakkai wanta hai bakkula. Okay, Hindi channel hai ma'am. So today, today we are uh, doing some experiment. And the experiment is such that we are streaming simultaneously on English as well as on Hindi. So, uh, I hope everyone understands uh, both languages pretty nicely. And my English is not that difficult to understand. Uh, my English is like pretty basic level. So anyone who has joined in from the Hindi channel, uh, he should also understand my basic uh, you know, language. Ranjit is asking, who is Akshay? Akshay is my husband. And they are calling Akshay uncle. So that, that is the reason why I said, this is too much. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Um, uh, fantastic. Okay, okay, okay. ठीक है. चलो. So uh, let us get to the dis discussion before I. अच्छा ये किसका तो really disheartened ये पढ़ के मैंने कहा क्या हो गया? You said you will discuss B L N L C and Engineers India, but it's been past three Thursdays, but no discussion yet. Uh, Ganesh, I try to discuss those stocks which I feel are fundamentally strong. I did uh, check these stocks, uh, but uh, especially N L C and all. Uh, I do feel them to be very exciting, even on the technical front. So uh, the moment I feel that, yes, something is nice, something can be discussed, uh, looks interesting kind of a thing, uh, then I, you know, prefer to specifically go into details, okay? And there are a lot of stocks which are into limelight right now because of certain stock-specific news or because of sector-specific news. Now, just to give you an example, right now, if you're following the news, there is one sector which is absolutely in limelight because of the scorching heat. It's so hot and because of that, power sector, I'm sure everyone understands power sector is going to be in limelight without any doubt. Okay. Uh, if I were to tell some statistics about that, the highest supply in a day, okay, in a specific day for the entire month of April 2023 was about... 216 gigawatt okay so uh, you can imagine the peak supply in a, in a specific day if i were to say if i check if i were to check the entire data of april in the entire data of april 2023 highest supply for one day was 216 gigawatt but that has already risen to 218 gigawatts in the first half of april itself so everyone understands that the summer keeps on becoming more and more intense as we go from april to may so now if 216 say we have already reached 218 and that will be the first half of april then definitely there is a great chance that this number might further go up in the second half of april and in the month of may as well in fact the ministry has projected that the peak power demand can go up to 260 gigawatts during a specific day is what again we are talking about okay so again just understand the statistics if i were to if i were to check april 2023 in the entire month in a single day highest supply was 216 gigawatt 218 gigawatt was supplied in the first half of january uh, first half of april 2024 and if i were to understand that uh, what ministry has said they, they have mentioned that from april to june the peak will be around 260 gigawatt so can I very clearly say that the power consumption is going to rise? And answer is obviously yes. In fact, 
the power consumption in our country has already risen to 7.6 7.66 billion units during what during april 1st to april 15th and this has gone up from 64.24 billion units a year ago so already this april so again i'm i'm comparing okay this april power consumption is already up by 10% as compared to previous year's april i hope you are understanding this point okay now if that be so before i go to few uh, you know few more pointers i want you all to tell me can you think of a specific sector exactly i have already gotten the answers by the way theek hai theek hai understood okay power sector is what people are mentioning absolutely so power sector is one where definitely there is a chance that a lot of interest might come in now if i were to understand okay power sector power sector belongs to does it i mean does it belong to a specific indices or a specific index particularly okay so there is something called as a nifty energy index i'm repeating because this is what we are we are if i'm not mistaken we are discussing this for the first time on our channel okay this specific index i'm repeating so first we talked about the scorching heat bahut garmi ho rahi hai and that is the reason why the power consumption is also increasing quite a bit now if that be so we have to understand ki power sector kaun se index mein aata hai it's, it's part of which index right so for that what i'll do is i'll share my screen so that you also get a base level idea so i'm sharing my entire screen um all right okay so if you see here overall the nifty energy index is comprised of power and oil and gas both right oil and gas contributes to 61% of energy index and power contributes almost 39% of energy index right now what are we focusing on are we focusing on oil and oil gas and consumables or are we focusing on power we are focusing on power right now now going to power so acha we will talk about power but if you see here nifty energy index is a weekly chart okay we could see a very nice consolidation a very nice base formation and there is a breakout again a gap followed by a gap and it has been increasing pretty nicely 33% up and this is what since barely this is what somewhere around october ish uh, october 23 to april right now so almost almost what seven seven months as pass and uh, it has already gone up by 33% now we have to also understand if i'm talking about power which stocks could they be multiple stocks but uh, we will discuss about ntpc which forms uh, a decent enough percentage uh, plus uh, we will also understand some basic pointers okay now if i'm talk, talking about ntpc ntpc is india's largest integrated power utility contributing to 1/4 of the power requirements of the country often compared with coal india and also there was a big news which mentioned that ntpc adds nearly 4 gigawatt generation capacity in fy24 total installed capacity hits 76 gigawatts now what we are going to do quickly is that ntpc is ntpc is one of the power companies agreed theek hai but we have to also understand a child and just uh, focus okay one minute If I were to go to NTPC, okay. Now, one problem with NTPC is that it's a pretty slow-moving stock. If you see our ten years price CAGR is thirteen percent, but it has in fact gone up because of the last one year price movement, which was one hundred and ten percent. Okay, last one year price movement was very sharp. Obviously, the PSU theme played up here as well. But look at this compounded sales growth. Ten years compounded sales growth is nine percent. 10 years compounded profit growth is on also only 4% so overall i'll be i'll be very honest with you overall power sector stocks have not given great returns in the past few years okay if i were to go historical so even acha let us pull up ntpc chart only one minute ntpc okay i'll just launch ntpc chart let us go to one month pattern first all right let have a look at this okay now if you see here this price of around 183 was seen in october 2007 okay then here you can see there was a uh, breakout but again within next two to three candles came inside this range again again tried to go above this went above this once immediately next candle inside 
again tried for the third time and came back pull back sharp pull back and it was still trying and trying and trying so you can imagine someone who might have entered here around 183 84 levels that was back in 2007 and the same level was also seen in july 2023 such a huge consolidation so of course see i'm not denying the fact that being government company these are more of dividend paying stocks good dividend paying stocks agree but कैपिटल अप्रिसिएशन अगर आप देखोगे तो कुछ भी तो नहीं है आई मीन द स्टॉक इज इन द इज इन द सेम रेंज फॉर सच अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो टिपिकली व्हाट वी हैव सीन इज इफ इफ देयर इज अ इफ देयर इज सच अ स्क्वीज एंड इफ देयर इज समथिंग गुड गोइंग इन आई मीन एट अ मैक्रो लेवल इफ समथिंग इज हैपनिंग इन द सेक्टर देन इट कैन हैव अ गुड इंपैक्ट ऑन द स्टॉक्स ओके सो हैज इट रिजन आई मीन टिपिकली व्हेन वी सी सच अ लॉन्ग स्क्वीज देन मिनिमम what we have seen in the past is 3 to 4 times of this okay so even if i say two times of this sorry i'll just take this here even if you were to say two times of this is somewhere around here why am i saying at least three four times so if i were to show you quickly rec we have we have discussed about this so many times so i'm just quickly sharing this rec ex, very similar pattern here correct so this was the consolidation and once this consolidation was over once there was a breakout this same got replicated how many number of time one two and the third one is going on right now correct so similar pattern was seen in pfc also power finance corporation same old long story this was how much from the base till the top was one uh, it was around 82 ka move so 83 is at 24 so if we check here 24 to yahan pe ho gaya more than that okay so this is what i have seen in the past uh, but this has to be a then when can such a nice move come up when there is something which is happening at a macro level did we see some nice news flowing in at the macro level especially for renewable energy space yes and that is the reason why stocks like rec pfc actually gave a very nice run up now it will be interesting to watch how ntpc performs given the overall theme of increase in power consumption okay even though i'm talking about this is this like a stock recommendation everyone knows that i've i've been saying about this 1001 times none of whatever i share on the channel 101% that is more from an educational perspective i'm sure everyone knows by now that you know there are a lot of people uh, who who are running fake ads in my name you'll see a lot of advertisements on facebook on instagram nowadays i can see some ads on youtube as well where uh you know a lot of people are actually you know trying to uh, use my photograph and say that uh, join this xyz whatsapp group and this that absolute rubbish things going on in my name always remember that i don't provide any stock tips okay i don't give any advice i am i am the person who believes in giving knowledge and empowering people through knowledge is what i've always believed in so please don't fall prey to any such fake ads don't join any whatsapp group without any intimation okay i only have my websites rachnaranade.com rachnaranade.in and i also have a community which is called as invest in india which is on the nas.io platform other than that i i don't have any whatsapp uh, you know uh, community where where you will find stock tips and this that okay so don't fall prey to that okay so i hope ntpc ka basic point you have understood even power grid is a similar story but i hope you are understanding that yes uh, you know this could be something which you can check out for amod is saying yes ma'am daily reporting at least four to five accounts on fb and insta requesting everyone to report such fake accounts uh, that's what we can do i have also launched a complaint to the cyber police as well right so yes exactly uh, ranjit ji you are absolutely right bsc chief today was also impersonated in a fake video nsc chief has already been impersonated in a fake video so it's it's pretty crazy uh, in fact using ai it's going to be scarier uh, to identify whether you know whatever is whoever is talking is that the same person or not okay anyways i hope uh, power related point is absolutely clear uh, tata power is also in the same space very true Ta we tata power so we did discuss about what tata power power grid ntpc you can definitely add these stocks in your watch list uh see how the uh, stocks are performing based on uh the news flow uh, i feel the more and more uh, heated environment is going to become these stocks are definitely going to come more and more into limelight okay
CG power also. Yes. One of my team members is going to be really happy. Her favorite stock is CG power. So someone said CG power. So she's going to be happy. Okay. <clears throat> so I hope first point is clear. Let's move on to the second point. If you have seen uh, my live stream about Israel and Iran war, in that we had discussed about crude oil. So I want answers quickly. What do you think? Because of the war situation, Israel and Iran uh, war situation, ideally the crude price should have gone up or should have come down. I want an answer as up or down. What do you feel? Crude oil upar jana chahiye tha ya niche aana chahiye tha based on war situation. Fada fada. I need answers. I'm waiting for like half a minute. Yes, fada fada. Up, 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 up. Kya baat hai? Everyone is giving fast answers. Got a lot of answers with up, 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 up. Now let's understand what has happened since the attack actually took place. So let us see. Today we are, today, today is Thursday. This is the UK oil chart. We have to check UK oil, right? Now, Monday was the day when we got to know about this. Okay. So, have a look at this Tuesday. It's down. Wednesday, it's down. And even Thursday, that is today, it's not, it's not like it's 0.13 percent up. So if you check from the topmost point of Tuesday, correct, till the bottommost point that we saw today, 5% fall. Okay. So this is something which we saw as kind of an abnormal. That whenever, you know, uh, such such things come up, everyone was fearing that Are, if crude oil goes up, uh, if the supply basically is disrupted, uh, if, you, if you have seen my live stream, I've, I'd also mentioned about a specific area through which almost 20 to 30 percent of the overall uh, global consumption of the oil that is, that is you know, uh, that travels to that through that area. So overall, uh, everyone was feeling that or a Brent crude will, you know, maybe rise above 90, 95, but it has in fact cooled off to $87 per barrel, right? Uh, and uh, in fact, everyone is feeling that, okay, there are chances that, you know, Israel may not retaliate. Of course, now all these are ifs and buts. Uh, a lot of people have their own thought processes, but people feel that maybe Israel may not retaliate. And that is the reason why. People believe that, okay, uh, maybe the tensions could decrease is what is what people are, uh, you know, trying to, uh, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, is what people are trying to think. So if that be so, is that going to be a good sign for us or bad sign for us? But again, I need answers. If crude oil keeps on decreasing, excuse me, ice cream, I didn't have ice cream, that is why I'm sneezing. Okay, so I'm uh, again. Roni is asking, uh, wh what is the reason for the fall? There are news that uh, there are statements, there are certain news that uh, there are great chances that this war may start to cool off a little bit. Okay. Exactly, exactly. So that was a statement around 1:30 p.m. by Israel Finance Minister. He said that. They will remember this retaliation and this that. But but uh, after that also, uh, you know, post market hours also, I was trying to go through some articles. Uh, as as I mentioned, there'll be a lot of speculations now going this way or that way. There'll be a lot of uncertainty. That is where VIX shoots up. But ultimately, there are a lot of geopolitical experts who believe that this may not go on for long, and that was the that could have been the reason why uh, it could you know is slowly and steadily cool off a little bit right uh, so i hope you've understood about crude oil going down and uh, that would be taken up as a good sign okay uh, so that was about crude oil uh, today so we, today we are going to discuss four five different different points uh, manju is saying sharp fall within 10 minutes but of course uh, i mean in the last i think 15 minutes market did see some good recoveries also what i believe because i remember market went down below 22000 I'm just pulling out a five minute chart. Exactly. So this was the fall of I have not shared my screen one minute. I'll share the screen. Hmm. 
Yes, yeah, so this was a fall uh, around 2 p.m. Uh, just before that also. I think this this is the is this the fall? Yes, 1:30. Where the uh, Iran where the Israel finance minister made some statement. So there was almost like a sharp one and a half percentage of fall. But towards the end, if you see here, there was a increase of almost 78 points in Nifty. But it is because of the weighted uh, closing. I mean, wait, the closing price is determined. If you have seen at 3:30. The close was around twenty two thousand and forty, but last thirty minutes' ka weighted average came up to almost twenty one thousand nine ninety five, and that is the reason why we have closed below twenty two thousand. Otherwise, we have actually at three thirty we were above twenty two thousand. Okay, so that was it about uh, Nifty about uh, Nifty ka zada bataya nahi abhi tak maine vaise, but that was mainly about crude oil. uh one quick point that i wanted to mention uh, is also about one company so today i'm, I'm actually focusing on few news as well uh, black rock and geo news i'm sure everyone knows by now uh, but it was because of that news that geo has seen some very nice price rise i'll just quickly share that news with you all i'm sure everyone already knows this but uh, reliance and geo uh, so basically geo and black rock They have signed a joint venture. They they have entered into a joint venture. It's a fifty fifty percent joint venture, and uh, they are launching a wealth management company and also subsequently establishing a brokerage firm in India. Uh, last year only they have uh, set up an AMC business, and uh, with now uh, they actually so originally DSP Group was uh, the one who had uh, who, who were into previously joint operations with BlackRock. So you can imagine this: DSP and BlackRock were together. Okay. Understand? DSP and BlackRock were together. They got separated. Their partnership ended in 2018, and now BlackRock is re-entering India with Geo Financials. Okay. Now you can imagine two big names coming together. Uh, there's a great chance that they can actually disrupt this whole space of broking and AMC. And if that be so, it it is going to be really interesting to watch. Uh, uh, I mean, it can be it can be crazy, right? Uh, so. I'll I'll just show you how Geo Finance uh, reacted to this news. So I'll quickly share my screen. Um, if you see here, have a look at this. Last three days, Geo Finance has gone up in last three days by almost seven percent, and out of that today, almost four and a half percent. It is in a channel right now. Will be interesting to watch whether it is able to break out of this channel or not. Even if you see here, volume was pretty good in today's trade, uh, and if you see here, when when the stock was not in that much uh, limelight, you can see here the volume had dried up quite a bit. But here it did see a very nice volume bar. Here also followed by a good volume bar. So interest has started to pick up in Geo Finance, and those who are our pro investor members, I hope. you have seen the geo finance video very nicely in the geo finance video uh, i have explained about all the different uh, business verticals where potentially can they actually earn from and what crazy sort of uh, business can they actually come up with and as on date they have hardly started anything majority of their valuation comes from their holding in reliance industries so uh, <laughs> absolutely uh, rajesh uh, it means that uh, you have been tracking it carefully uh, geo finance those who are our pro investor members and anyone who also did their own study after watching my video and if so rajesh i hope you did your, i'm sure you have done your own analysis as well and because you also felt that okay i understood what rachna was trying to tell uh, and plus you did your own analysis and anyone who did that uh, is sitting on 100% plus gains again feels good right uh, if we are able to find out fundamentally strong stocks and uh, i mean if we are even if we can find out one point of analysis by ourselves feels like superb right uh, kya baat hai uh, ronnie is also saying yes excellent video never could have found that info one uh, on my own yes absolutely so rani that is the whole thought process of our pro investor membership right because i'm sure all those who are working for you all going through the entire annual report going through all the presentations management con calls and this quarterly presentations right plus, plus in keeping up with the news updates it's, it's going to be pretty difficult so that is the reason why i just try to 
uh, summarize the whole important points for you all and you know try to just simplify it for you so glad that you find all these things informative and uh, for those who are the pro investor members and who have uh, not yet seen that video would definitely request everyone to watch that video it's it's uh, one of you know all all the pro investor member videos are good but that is also a very interesting one to watch right so i hope i hope that news is also clear so really waiting eagerly for that stock to give a fresh closing above 387 ish so that it can you know break above that channel one last news that i wanted to mention today was about nestle and that is one news which actually you know i was even surprised when i read about this if you have read about this it's it's crazy right nestle india was in headlines today because it was accused for adding sugar in their infant cereal products and believe it or not only in india and asian countries they don't add sugar in infant cereal in europe and in uk they are adding in sugar in infant cereal products only in india and asian countries now i mean when i read this it's it's you know it was pretty disheartening to see that you know this is being done in uh, products of india and asian countries uh, and for a big company like nestle uh, milk and nutrition products generate about 40% of their revenue so you have to understand this that if this is taken up seriously by the people and uh, if fssai actually you know questions this uh, i mean fssai in fact reportedly examining uh, the report by public eye they claimed that nestle added sugar to its uh, milk formula brand intended for in infants and children up to 2 years so if fssai who is the india's food regulator they have also mentioned about this so you know if if something really is questioned then again could this also lead to another controversy maybe yes and if that be so we have to understand that this could have some impact on the stock price why because it's about milk and milk products it it contributes to a huge chunk of their revenue uh, again uh, for those who are uh, participating in the 21 days fundamental analysis challenge we have recently discussed about nestle anyone who is in the stream right now and who is a part of the 21 days fundamental analysis challenge i think ranjit ji you are a part of the challenge is what i understand um anyone else who who is a part of the 21 days fundamental analysis challenge it's a it's a part of our invest in india community uh yes ranjit ji says yes anyone else who is who is acha abha is also yes abha i remember reading your name as well somitra says yes i am i'm there to bhavik says yes i am kya baat hai kya baat hai fantastic navin says yes rg koti swaran says rg koti sir sorry says i am to kya baat hai so many people oh ho amit says want to be involved in 21 days fundamental analysis challenge oh uh, amit the, the the challenge has already started uh, almost i think more than a week ago but you can surely be a part of that challenge it's just that you will have to do more uh, challenges in a single day because the second challenge unlocks the only when you have done the first challenge so it's like 21 videos and through which aja ranjit ji is on on track he says 9 days over so you have to finish the first challenge then only the second will unlock after you complete the second challenge third will unlock avnesh also says i am a part of the challenge kya baat hai harshal says yes vinakshi says yes i am also there oh ho oh, kya baat hai sumit says 21 days challenge is for nri or for us like pro investor do it's for anyone not only nris be it nri or uh, for you know indians anyone rg says first time you are spelling my name ma'am thank you <laughs> okay uh, so yes pooja has promptly shared the link of the challenge uh, what you have to do is you will have to be a part of our invest in india community and you will be able to uh, join in the challenge uh, so that can be done uh, ashwi says i tried but not able to make the payment as it was not showing on indian currency oh ho कुठं करायचं जॉईंट चॅलेंज अरे सो मेनी पीपल आर स्टील नॉट अवेअर अबाउट ट्वेंटी वन डेज फंडामेंटल अनालिसिस चॅलेंज स्टील सम पीपल आर स्ट्रगलिंग ओके द लिंक दॅट पूजा हॅज शेअर्ड ओके दिस इज आय जस्ट आय जस्ट शेअर वन मिनिट यू जस्ट हॅव टू गो टू नॅस डॉट आय ओ स्लॅश इन्व्हेस्ट 
in India. Okay, I'll just share this. Uh, one minute, I'll just put this up. And RR20 is the coupon code that you can use for enrolling uh, for this membership. If you are a part of this membership, if you are uh, a part of our uh, Invest in India community, you get access to this 21 days fundamental analysis challenge. Uh, and one more important point, right? Uh, before I forget, this uh, Saturday, I mean, day after tomorrow at 7 p.m. IST, we have a very special guest coming up on our show. Uh, it's going to be a Zoom meeting uh, and he's one of the amazing, talented people, uh, Samir Ji and Samira Rora Ji. He is uh, the founder of Helios Capital and I'm sure it's going to be a really knowledgeable session. Uh, I have been following his content or I mean, he basically comes as a guest speaker on a lot of news channels, right? Uh, but I mean, his knowledge is amazing and I've asked him to come on our community for a Zoom session. And uh, we are going to take up questions from you all only, those who are a part of the of the community. Uh, Google form is there on our WhatsApp group of our community on Invest in India. Please do share up, uh, fill up the Google form, ask questions. Uh, we will ask him questions around war situations, uncertainties, metals, whatever is going on right now. We'll ask his uh, thought process about election and whatnot. So super excited for this Saturday's uh, session. So those who are already a part of the community, please register for that session as well again it's free for those who are part of that community it's just that we need a count the seats are limited and that is the reason why uh, asking everyone to uh, you know quickly enroll for uh, that session as well right fantastic and uh, those who are uh, those who have any uh, doubt about our community i'm also sharing our whatsapp number 9022196678 okay i've pinned it there Nine zero two two one nine six six seven eight. So you can just uh, ask your query uh, if you have anything. If you are not able to join the community, or if you have any other doubt, you can you can definitely ask that. Right? Uh, want to register for the Zoom meet on Saturday, please? Yes, uh, it's it's uh, it's available uh, for all the Invest in India community members. You can uh, check on the group also, right? Uh, Prasanna, it's not for the pro investor members. It's for Invest in India members. Okay, uh, so yes, RR20, don't forget to use that coupon code as well. And if you're interested in a yearly membership, because every month we are going to have some interesting points coming up for the community as well. Uh, so CRR50 is a coupon code that you can use for yearly membership as well. Okay, fantastic. Okay, uh, yes, we'll try and get more and more experts every single month. We'll definitely try and... Uh, get in more and more knowledgeable people right harshal harshal is giving a very nice feedback harshal says there are a lot of lot of analysts making noise on social media but you are doing a great job by educating everyone on fundamentals rather than just giving a recommendation thank you harshal uh, i always believe that recommendations are not going to you know help anyone uh, it's it's about gaining knowledge right um <laughs> Jinesh is saying, why can't you join all the groups? Increase subscription amount. That's that is a fair suggestion, Jinesh. The only thing is that even I am trying to you know explore two, three things. For example, the 21 days challenge can't be built into the YouTube membership. YouTube doesn't have that. For those who are a part of our invest in India community, they know that every day there are tasks which are given and they they, they have to complete that task. It's, it's like a like there's a fitness challenge, this is the fundamental analysis challenge. And that tech is not built by YouTube. So I can't do anything about it. That is the reason why I'm not able to bring it that uh, into our pro investor membership also. Okay. Chalo, uh, let us go back to the important point that I was just discussing, which is about the Nestle cut chart. And if you see here, after the news came up, the stock has seen... Uh, a big correction and if you see here of course did recover from the lows but if you see here almost five percent plus cut in a single day okay so be a bit cautious on this stock right now not a great idea to jump in because you know there are some people who feel that all right it's down by five percent uh, let's let's accumulate a little bit more but we don't know uh how much more seriously this could be taken up uh i mean this could be one base which was formed earlier 
so this is a possibility uh, for a good support for nestle around 2325 level so you can see here a small base at a weekly uh, pattern you can see a small base being formed it broke out of that base and this could be a good support for that right 2300 plus so anyways this was about uh, nestle so as i mentioned right uh, don't jump into nestle uh, be a bit cautious about it <coughs> even though it was uh, down by 5% go a little bit slow right finally i want to discuss about nifty levels so fat fat um, we'll share my screen and then we'll take your questions uh, as well uh, not not a lot of questions so it's almost 10:42 uh, but we'll just quickly go to nifty yes go to the daily chart okay now if you see here we are at a very crucial level why we were in an uptrend we are still in an uptrend i'm repeating we were in an uptrend and we are still in an uptrend so if you see here i'm just going to um it's a better one shade better okay uh should be joining from here only i did so thoda to banta hai okay so still we are in an uptrend now important point is that today the 22000 barrier was broken 22000 is a psychological barrier that was broken plus tomorrow is friday uh, and tomorrow i somehow feel that you know we can see something uh, you know this is we are at a make or break level right now but what i feel is that even if tomorrow we break below that level of 22000 which i feel could be a chance okay we have to understand very nicely what is the immediate next level which is really important and that is 21800 kas pass so why typically the immediate previous low is taken as a good support so this was the immediate previous low on a closing basis correct this was the immediate previous low and this is what 21808 i'm repeating 21808 so that is the reason why i feel that this can act as a very good support so i'm i'm just removing these trend lines right now okay now let's also try by fibonacci retracement if we can get something interesting okay now if you see here this was the lowest point acha before that what was happening it was in a side, sideways trend and from here the upward rally started okay so what am i am i going to do from this lowest point to the highest point correct this one i'm going to draw a fibonacci level and if you see here the fibonacci retracement is also coming at 21838 same level 21838 so this is a 23.6% retracement so i don't see any reason why 21800 should be broken so i feel that maximum 200 points more pain is what i can see i'll also share something interesting okay so this was the rally from where we started now let's go back a little bit this was the immediate previous rally before this rally let's see how much was the retracement from here till sorry till the first so this was the first rally and then it saw a retracement till here this was also 23.6% retracement okay uh, of course iske aage jayenge to it was at a next level uh, somewhere around 38 okay now even if i were to go here this was again one more rally from the bottom most point to the then highest point and this is also around 23.6% retracement of course uske baad it is around the 38% retracement so first retracement that we see after such a nice uh, you know run up is around 23% so even if i were to sorry so this is where i was trying to make my point that this has been the highest point and i see that 21800 ideally should act as a good support level i don't see nifty you know going below that so will be really important um so as i mentioned right tomorrow i somehow get a feeling that market may test some lower levels but i feel 21800 on a closing basis should be honored so will be important to see uh, how the overall picture turns up but i don't think anything is uh, i mean no panic situation per se exactly rajesh is also saying because of infi there could be an overall infi and it pack could could drag down the market a little bit uh, so that could happen 
tomorrow because of which uh, we can see some sort of selling pressure coming in the initial phases plus the fed chairman ka statement absolutely absolutely but now it has recovered correct right so uh, all in all i feel tomorrow there can be some action in the market but don't don't panic is what i would want to say today only uh, even if it shows some shaky sign of start uh, just focus on the close close should be about 21800 is what i feel okay and sometimes you know what happens i've seen that also in the past it will close below crucial level so that everyone will be in a panic so just as an example tomorrow assume it closes at 21700 something and it's are rachna told 21800 now what those who are scared <coughs> <coughs> they end up selling and in a day or two it comes back within the range so i don't think it's it's a panic situation right now don't panic but don't jump and buy also stay focus stay calm calm right now focus more on what is coming up uh, let's let's go more and more into the q4 results and see how the results are panning out and then then you know we can uh, whatever fundamentally strong stocks you have already uh, hunted for try and go into those stocks right any quick questions just maybe one or two <laughs> Mano GPT says you are the Nostradamus of Nifty. Nay, Baba, I don't, I don't think I, I am, I am even close to him. Great, great person, Nostradamus. T plus zero settlement is obviously going to be a great uh, thing. Uh, no doubts on that. Infi can see some pressure because of the results. Uh, Vodafone idea has has never been my choice. Never. So. That is the reason why I didn't cover FP on my channel also. Uh, Adha asks, who, Madam, whom do you follow to update your knowledge? Uh, so, you know, what, what we do is that uh, every day in my office, so I have a team of five members in my research team. Every day in our office in the morning, uh, we all read different, different websites and newspapers right from ET to business standard to you know all the mint and this that so we read all uh, some uh, say I am I am a little bit old school person so today also I read a physical newspaper but my team members are all you know all in their early 20s so pretty comfortable with reading newspapers also online so every day we have um, a knowledge exchange meeting early morning and where we discuss what are the top everyone tells top two three news uh, per day that's how we share knowledge and Whatever we feel, Acha, this news is important. We need to cover this on our channel or not. So that, that's how we also discover content which uh, can be uh, you know, taken up on our channel. So that's how we share knowledge with each other. So yeah, that's how we do it. Oh, you could have introduced your team members with the name. Name. Rajesh, you want to know any specific name? Otherwise, uh, in the latest gold video, my entire team uh, does appear in one of the reel. Okay. Oh, oh, I want to start doing business with you. But where do I learn basics so that I can understand business jargons? Now, I think I should start one uh, separate... <coughs> um, latest gold video what is that are i have puja ji paste the link of uh, our gold video that is where uh, in the in one part of the video we all my team members had come up uh, on screen all right Any quick questions? Now I'm I'm tired and feeling a bit sleepy. Yes, Pooja ji has shared the link. Uh, Indus Tower making 52 week high. Yes, Eman ji is actually taking Indus Towers to new newer and newer heights. Is what I believe. And Anji ji, thank you for the super sticker as well. Cute one. <coughs> Entry point for Reliance Geo. Ooh, right now it's it's pretty high up, but uh, as I mentioned, one minute, Geo. It is at a very crucial level right now. Uh, okay, this will be the last talk that I discuss after which we'll stop for the day. 
Okay, so this is the first base that it created. It broke out from here. And now you can, if you can see, it's, it has been in this channel since what? Since 23rd of February. So March, April, two months it has been in this range. And it has to break above this with good volumes. Then I can say that it, it could be preparing itself for the next move. So I'm, I, I do have it in my portfolio, uh, of course. Uh, but I have not added more quantity uh, in the recent past. Right. All right, all right. Thank you, everyone. Um, and a big thank you to everyone for joining in, even at 10 at night. I'm sure many people might be sleeping at 10, and so do I. But uh, I had to attend a function, and it was pretty far off from my place. Uh, so got a bit late coming back. Uh, but thanks, thanks a lot, everyone, for joining in. And uh, Piccolo, Piccolo is asking questions continuously. Ma'am, why people go behind stocks like Suzlon, Yes Bank instead of buying fundamentally good companies like Reliance Industries, Tata Motors, etc. And is now a good point entry point to buy Reliance Industries. Uh, of course, I mean Piccolo, uh, uh, for buying fundamentally strong stocks definitely makes a lot of sense. And I'm a big fan of you know fundamentally strong stocks. Uh, by the way, tomorrow we are releasing a video which is going to be about Tesla and Tata Motors. Just a quick poll. What do you think? If you, just, you you have to just give you have to give an answer in yes or no. Okay, I'm sure everyone knows that uh, Elon Musk is coming to India on in the next week, and there are great chances that Tesla may be available in India, where, where it will be manufactured in India and sold in India. Do you think that Tesla can be a big competition to Tata Motors, and can it eat up into the share of Tata Motors? What do you feel? Yes or no? Can Tesla eat up into Tata Motors share? Yes or no? Amod says yes. Ama says yes. Piccolo says no. Rajesh says no. <laughs> okay, Ram says no. All right, mixed answers. Again, one more yes. Rami, Jimish says yes. Abba says yes. Nyaneshwar says no. All right. There are seems seems fun. Uh, so a lot of yeses and nos coming in. So uh, I'm sure everyone will be interested to know the answer. And uh, tomorrow we are releasing a video on exactly the same thing. Uh, we are going to discuss about Tesla's probable entry into India. Will it hamper Tata Motors? If yes, if no, could it hamper someone else's sales or not? Everything is going to be discussed in tomorrow's video. It's going to be a good video. Uh, so I'm sure it will be uh, a good value addition for everyone. Right? So anyways, uh, love doing today's live stream as well as usual. Thank you, everyone, for joining in even at like 11 p.m. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, I'll see you, everyone, on the next Thursday. Till then, take care. Jai Hind and bye-bye.